so here is the exercise uh, under that lesson the guess the meaning of the following word so here are the such uh, hard words that is uh, exorbitantly uh, precaution unauthorized repeatedly uh, enthusiastically so student you have to find out the meaning of this uh, word and write it in your notebook as a homework okay write a smaller and a related words that you see within these words so you have to extract uh, another word uh, just like the first uh, look at the first word first word is uh, exorbitantly so from this we extract another word that is orbit orbit o r b i t it is orbit uh, orbit of the planets hmm? in the precautions we have cautions hmm? uh, so these are the uh, such in a such a way you have to pick out the another word from this from this uh, words okay uh, use the detail given in the story uh, and your imagination and prepare a timetable the trip of the moon so uh, for this answer you have to read the lesson read the lesson so will uh, you will and make the sequence uh, from the each paragraph so you you can make a paragraph uh, the uh, preparation of the trip uh, start uh, starting point of the trip and go reach on the desired or planned um, place and uh, uh, the works uh, or the uh, sightseeing uh, which uh, which uh, you have done on that planet so you have to uh, get the details after reading the lesson uh, third question now look at the third questions that say whether the following statements are right or are wrong uh, totally uh, g up to g you have to um, for these answers also you must read the lesson so you can get the correct answer uh, in this lesson the fourth is uh, imagine you are silly so here is a uh imaginative questions that you imagine that you are silly and write uh, write your diary for every day of your trip to the moon and for the day you ha you gave the uh, earrings earrings to your m mother so here you have to be considered yourself as a silly so uh, after considering after uh, after considering uh, yourself as a silly you have to write down a diary uh, uh, about the trip uh, in a diary about the trip okay discuss in the story human settlements are mentioned but not the cities and villages why is it so so you have to answer it is about the atmospheric conditions uh, which is on the moon and on the earth is totally different um, the gravitational force also different so uh, the conditions due to uh, these different conditions uh, they are de they are human develops the set only settlements not villages or towns or so you have to write down the per, uh, per, uh, particular answer or give a particular reason about the uh, about these questions and you have to discuss it is the questions about the group discussions so you can discuss uh, the reasons perfect reasons ab of the human settlements on the moon not the cities and towns they the human not generate the cities and towns what is the reason behind it okay
for these questions also you have to read the lesson thoroughly after that only you can get the correct answers of these questions and you can discuss it in your class gather more information about the following from your science textbook and the internet and other sources so uh, look children here we have got the sources that is the internet internet or a science textbook these are the two sources from we from which we get gather the more, more informations okay about this trip the first point is the gravitational force second view of a sky when you are on the moon uh, and chandrayaan mission of india you can get it from youtube or uh, or other google you can make a google search so you can gather the information about the gravitational force of the earth and the moon uh, due, uh, view of the sky which is clearly uh, seen from the moon because there is not atmosphere there uh, so there is no cloud this are uh, this is the scientific reason behind this uh, behind this sight seeing in the sky uh, from the moon we can uh, saw it the, we can saw clearly the sky because the absence of clouds chandrayaan missions for this you have to uh, you can gather this informations from the google seventh question is about uh, about the different uh, types of the human life or advancement of life um, such a trips that which grows from one uh, one planet to another planet so question is you want to start a human settlement somewhere else other than the earth in the in universe will you select a star or a planet why what features supporting life uh, will you look for trying to uh, find answers to such a questions and make the presentation make the presentation using scientific informations and your imagination so you have to um, search google web and make a imaginations eighth is the grammar study eighth, eighth questions is about the grammar study so here we we have to search a uh, common nouns some nouns to so some nouns stands for the number of person things or uh, things taken together they are called collective noun okay common uh, for example class class means the students collection of students herd of cattle flock of sheep a team of players list of names collective nouns also have a singular and plural form for example class classes herd herds team teams make a collection of collective nouns so you have to make a collection at least 20 nouns collective nouns at least 20 try to make it okay uh, we so we confidently we cross the number of uh, collective nouns more than 10 okay so here on this page we have a grammat uh, grammatical part of the uh, part of speech that is punctuation punctuation there are different punctuations which are used in the sentences in the grammars so we have to understand the meaning and the uses of that punctuations the first punctuations most first and most important punctuation is full stop here the sentence completed this full stop shows that here this sentence is completed and another sentence 
is started from uh, that word it is also known as a period it is used at the end of the statement or order statement i have a three colored pencil so here at the pencil this sentence is completed so there we put a full stop to the sentence order sit down the first one is about the statement just a statement but the second one is a order sit down and full stop uh, it is also used as an abbreviation abbreviative likes like b a in the capital form of b and in the capital form of a and dot uh, after them it it shows that uh, it it shows that the b means the bachelor uh, and the a means arts another uh, form uh, form of part of speech is the comma the comma the comma shows a slight pause in the sentence it is used for the following so comma has a different uses first to separate the word from uh, in a list we have a mango a banana tree to name tree and a goa tree in our garden to separate phrases or clauses actually if you are interested in wild animals you must visit the sanctuary here we have a comma at uh, after animals and actually in writing conservations please pay attention teacher said she said this is the interest this is interesting so here we have we have comma after attention and after said the last one is before and after the words the or words used to address someone <laughs>